Amen. Now listen, I hope you got your Bibles. I am what I call a teaching priest, and that means we're going to run these scriptures. Y'all got it because that's how you know. Amen. Y'all all right? Amen. I, I frankly, you know, I judge things based on what's written. Amen. I don't judge a thing as of God just because it's spiritual. Glory to God. But because I can validate it in the scripture, y'all all right, then it becomes God. Amen. Are y'all all right? Amen. It becomes God because you can validate it in the scripture. Amen. And so we want to run these scriptures tonight. But listen, what I also want to do is, is just add my, my portion in, in helping you to uh, be an apostle to receive tonight. Amen. Amen. Because, uh, you know, men are competitive by nature. Yes. Will y'all tell the truth? Yes, sir. Amen. We are competitive by nature. Amen. And I believe a, a large percentage of that competitiveness comes from God himself. Amen. Because Amen. men have to have drive. Yes, y'all right. got it to be in the position that we're called to be in. Right. We y'all say amen. amen. I'm not scared amen. now. All right. Amen. 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 We are competitive by nature. Amen. And I know that. Amen. And so what I would like for you to do, amen, I'd like for you to understand that uh, I'm not here tonight to prove that I'm more of a man than you are. Amen. Are y'all all right? Amen. I want you to be in a position to receive. Amen. But what I would like for you to do is, is to take uh, what God has taught me, amen, and add it to what he's taught you. Right. Y'all got And hopefully we'll all leave out here tonight being better men than we were yeah. before we came in here. Right. And y'all receive that. Yeah, amen. Right. amen. Right. And so because you have to make sure of that, amen, because, you know, we like that. Amen. Right. It's my territory. It's my whatever. Amen. Right. And so I'm not here to compete with you. Amen. I'm not here to to compare myself with you, amen. Paul even said that that's not even wise. Right. And so many times we do that to, to our detriment, and it keeps us uh, from being able to receive from one another right. because we're too busy comparing ourselves with one another. Yeah, Are y'all all right? But whenever I meet a man of God, amen, or, or a woman of God, or whoever that's in the kingdom, man, I'm listening to them and I'm listening also to God while I'm in their presence. Amen. Amen. You guys, because we don't meet by accident. That's right. Amen. Amen. Uh, God, not when you meet a real man of God. Amen. You hadn't met him by accident, amen. That thing was orchestrated by the Spirit of the Lord, amen. 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 And so what that means is God is about to say something to me or he's about to say something through me. Amen. amen. Are y'all right with that, amen? And so we're all here tonight, amen. I've been hearing God since I've been here. Yes. Amen. amen. And so I want you to be in that attitude, amen, so that you'll be able to receive, amen, what I believe God has put on my heart uh, tonight. Is that all right? Amen. amen. I was sitting at the breakfast on Saturday and I heard uh, several things at the table that confirmed, amen, what God had placed on my heart, I believe, to minister to you. And so I'm going to obey God in that respect. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. The theme is uh, men of God, amen, walking in humility. Amen. 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 But I personally believe that prior to getting to the humility part, what we really have to understand is what is a man. What is a man? Amen. Amen. What is a man of God? Y'all all right? And so I believe tonight that I lay a foundation, amen, for the rest of the men of God, amen, uh, to build upon. Is that is that all right? That's good. But I want to deal with that particular uh, uh, phrase, what is a man? Okay. Y'all all right? Yeah. Is that right? And somewhere along the way, there's going to be some humility in there. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But we need to know what a man is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There was a day and time when that was not necessarily something that we had to, to become aware of. But we're in a new dispensation. Oh. How many of y'all know that? Yes, Amen. Sir. Yes, we're in a new time now. Lord. And we got a whole lot of new laws now. Oh, right. preach. Amen. Y'all all right? So we're going to just yes. believe God for a foundation tonight. Right? Is that all right? Good. If you will, turn your Bible to the book of Psalms, the 8th chapter. The book of Psalms, the 8th chapter. And, uh, amen. I see my sister in here, you know, but praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to give me some grace tonight, woman of God. You're going to let, amen. So, so praise. I'm glad she did. This is no problem. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I just want, you know, the message, message kind of geared toward. Amen. Y'all got it? Amen. 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 So, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalms, the 8th chapter. And go to verse 1. When you all get there, let me hear you say amen. 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 And I'm going to read down through verse 6 and we're going we're gonna to begin. Is that all right? Amen. Are we there? Amen. All right, the scripture reads as follows. It says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all of the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings has thou ordained strength. 
because of thine enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens and the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank God for the reading of the word. Amen. Amen. And for the hearers. Amen. And the doers of the word. Amen. Amen. Listen, in verse 6, and I like to use for a subject matter if I can, uh, what is a man? Amen. Mm. Amen. In verse 6, David asked a question, uh, which simply uh, is a request for knowledge. And understanding. And I believe that uh, David asked uh, this particular question, what is a man, uh, because he was overwhelmed about the enormous amount of trust uh, that God placed in man. Uh, that he would make him responsible for all of his creation, even the earth itself. Are oh, y'all all right? Amen. All right. All right. And when you think about that, amen, that, that's enough to blow your mind right there. Mm. Amen. amen. I remember a while back I was uh, on a plane going to, I believe it was D.C., amen, and, and we got around about 36,000 feet. And, and, and I began to look down and I began <laughs> to, you know, just realize that the earth is an enormous place. Amen. Uh, amen. Y'all got it. Yeah. Amen. The earth, amen, is an enormous place. Amen. And, and this particular scripture came back to me, amen. But what is a man? Yeah. You got it, amen. That God would take this enormous planet, are y'all all right, amen, yeah. and place it in the hands of a man. All right. Go ahead. Come on. Man. Go ahead, amen. Father. Now, now, to be humble doesn't mean to be weak. All right. All right. All right. Got it, yeah. amen. Yeah. Because we have placed upon our lives by our Heavenly Father, an enormous responsibility. Amen. Right. Amen. And a lot of times, amen, I think we as men need to be awakened, amen, to that fact that we carry a great responsibility yes. that's amen. been given to us, amen, by God. Amen. amen. Are you all right? So, so David was overwhelmed about the enormous amount of trust, amen, that God placed in man. He literally has more trust in us than we are aware of. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. Come on. Oh, Y'all gonna go with me. Amen. amen. He really has more trust in us. Amen. Than we are actually, amen, aware of. Amen. Right. amen. And the Bible says in Psalms 115 uh, and verse 16, it declares that the heavens, even the heavens, are the Lord's. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the earth hath he given to the children of men. Right. Y'all got it. Right. God yes. rules in heaven. Mm -hmm. But he gave the responsibility yeah. of the earth Glory. to the children of men. I mean, that's an awesome yeah. responsibility. That's yeah. right. I mean, so it's more attached to your life than just you and your three or four more that you got at home. Oh, right. Amen. Oh. That's right. Y'all with me. Amen. Oh. amen. And God wants us to wake up, amen, uh, to, amen, that fact. Amen. But I believe that this same question today, amen, is being asked, amen, out of confusion. Because the devil has so distorted the image of a man until a lot of men are confused uh, and, and they are actually suffering from what I call, amen, as an identity crisis. Preach. Preach. Oh, y'all, all right. Preach. I said the question is still being asked today, amen, but it's being asked out of confusion. Because a lot of men are suffering, amen, from an identity crisis. When we look at this word identity, amen, it's defined as a set of behavioral or personal characteristics yeah. uh, by which someone or something can be recognized or known. Mm -hmm. And when we add uh, this word crisis uh, to this word identity, this phrase is defined as a psychosocial state of disorientation mm -hmm. and role confusion because of conflicting Pressures and expectations, amen, uh, that can sometimes be brought on by families and in society uh, in general, amen. I'm not trying to be deep, I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Amen. In other words, in general society yeah. itself, there's great, come on and do this, amen, there's great confusion about what a real man is. Amen. In general society itself. There's great confusion about what a real man is. And then they take that same confusion and impose it on our young males in our homes and in our schools. 
Oh, y'all all right. My Lord. Especially in our liberal institutions, amen, of higher education, amen. And sometimes even in some churches. Preach y'all, right. preach y'all. There's confusion. My Lord. About what a real man is. Amen. A lot of times when you go from high school, amen, uh, uh, into college, one of the things they, that they, they, they definitely intend to do, amen, is to take all concept of God out of your belief system. Right, right. You're preaching. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Preacher. And they want to confuse you, amen, about what your real God ordained role is, amen, in uh, society. Amen. And so what, what is non uh, uh, this non-biblical view of masculinity of maleness has done is that it is contribute, contributed to the breakdown of the family structure mm. which is the foundation upon which all healthy societies are built upon. Mm. In other words so as the man goes so oh, does yes, society yes. go. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now forgive me amen, uh, mama, God, amen. But there's a saying out there that says if mama ain't happy ain't nobody happy. Uh -oh. But the truth is that the man is not happy. Ain't nobody. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 If the man don't get it together, ain't yeah, nobody going to be happy. Be happy. Yeah. Because a lot of her yeah. frustration is because of the man that's in, his, in her life that don't have it together. Yeah. Yeah. Three, three, three. And we got to stop being ashamed, amen, of saying things, amen, like that, amen. Also, in a free society like ours, uh, you have organizations and institutions that want to change society for their own demonic purposes, amen. We actually have whole movements whose aim is, is to destroy the biblical and the traditional role of both men and women. Right. Groups like the feminists and the radical homosexuals uh -huh. and the gay rights movement. Uh -huh. right. Did y'all hear what I said? Amen. Amen. They want to change the whole concept oh, amen, yeah. of what a man, amen, actually is, amen. Yeah. And one of these groups' most dangerous attribute is the fact that they have now become highly political. They are. Glory to God. God. And they have infiltrated the very essence, amen, of our government. Jesus now listen, Jesus. you can say what you want, amen, Jesus. but they're in the White House they're now. Yeah. Glory to God. They are so politically powerful, are y'all all right, to the need our president turn around in his tracks, amen, and come up with another revelation. Right. So y'all like that. Glory to God. Glory to God. Because when he opened the door to that mess, yeah. they went slap crazy. Come on, oh, oh, yeah. man. Come on with it. Oh, Tell me from God's point of view. Working Lord, right. working Lord. I don't care what color. Ah, uh, that's, that's right. right. That's Amen. right. That's God. Oh, that's God. Y'all doing right. Are y'all right? And what we've got to learn how to do as the people of God Jesus. is vote for the right man. And not just the. Uh oh. Okay. Right. Go ahead. You out there. On, you out there. Yeah, you out there. I'm in trouble now. Go ahead, got your back. Are y'all all right? Amen. And it got highly political. Amen. And see what demons, what they, what they learned, they learned this way back in the Old Testament. Mm. See, they couldn't stop Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach, oh. and Abednego. And so what they had to do was get into the political system. They had to change the laws in order to try to keep the church from its destiny. Come on with it. And the church better wake up. Yeah. Time now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Y'all all right. Yeah. 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 See, so I set a platform. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Before I vote. Right. Am I all right, Billy? Yeah, right. I started platforms before I vote. Are y'all right? That's right? Because whoever I put in office, are y'all all right? Whatever vision they have, they're going to implement. That's yeah, right. Come on. Come on. Come on. I said, come on now. Come on. Are y'all? I said, whoever. Mm. And I'm voting for the closest thing to righteousness there is. Yeah. I'm trying to talk about me and me. Uh, yeah, I'm voting for the closest thing to righteousness there is. And so people say, well, you know, they're all corrupt. That's right. The closest thing to righteousness, that's what I want. If, if, if it's a choice between uh, two evils, I want to get the less evil. I don't want the greater evil to be dictating more. Preach up. Preach up. That's right. Very good. Very good. And see what we don't realize, and I'm gonna get back to my text, Jamie, is when they do get in power, what they do, they open the doors for all those other imps who will stay in power even after they go. Behind the scenes. Amen. That's right. Working because men 
would stand up for righteousness. Amen. 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 Are y'all all right? Yeah. 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 Amen. Let's get back to this text and see, and see can we, we, we go just a little bit further. Amen. Amen. Are, are y'all all right with that? Amen. Yeah. So they become highly po political, amen, with this attempt, amen, to change uh, the traditional, amen, and the biblical role, amen, uh, of, amen, amen, amen. There are those who even want to destroy the whole concept of masculinity out of the Bible. Ooh, right. I mean, wanting to delete all references that identify God, I mean, in the masculine or the male tense. Right. 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 You know that there are people who have actually created a Bible, amen, mm -hmm. and they went through the Bible and took all references of God out of it in the masculine tense. Yes. Right. Yes. In the male tense. Are y'all yes. right? yes. calling God her and she? Oh, uh, yes. you got right. Okay, y'all don't want to go there. <laughs> But if we don't stand up as men of God, who's going to stand up? That's right. Amen. Him who's going to stand up for the household if we don't stand up for them? Who's going to stand up for our wives and for our daughters and for our children if we don't stand up for them? If we don't lay a foundation for them to build upon are y'all all right? Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, so listen, while I believe both males, amen, and females are equally loved by God, yeah. amen, and they are both vitally important, amen, to the plan of God, I also believe that we have too many men trying to get in touch with their so-called feminine side. Oh, no. Oh, God, oh, help no. Me Jesus. Amen. And instead of studying oh, God's word, amen, and identifying their roles as male, amen, and then assuming the position, amen, so that the original intent of God for the male can be carried out in the earth realm, amen, they're trying to identify with their feminine side. God help. God help. Well, let me tell you something. I don't have one. Amen. Oh, wow. God. Amen. And if you are male, you are not have Amen. one. Amen. 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 You need to quit trying to get in touch. Amen. With your feminine side. Amen. And I'm sorry, woman of God. Amen. You better watch these women that all the time want you to cry. Glory and show God. your emotion. Oh, you don't God. stop that crying. Are y'all right? After a while, she don't want a real God. man to step up to the plate. And you will be boo hooed and she don't want to go upside your head. <laughs> and you will show her your sensitive side. <laughs> and I'll tell y'all something. Right right? Hey man, you might well get used to it. They're going to test that. I'm sorry. Um, They're going to test that on. Yeah. Are y'all all right? Yeah, After right. you say I do, I'm telling you, somewhere along the way, they're going to knock on that arm and say, Are you up in there? Oh, my Lord. Right, that's the truth. Yeah. Right. Oh, no. right. Ain't no more to come out. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. hey, you can't get a brother to tell the truth. Amen. Amen. They test that on. Amen. They test it, amen. Yeah. And when they find out you the real deal, then she gonna calm down. Yeah. 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 That's what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about uh -huh. being abusive. No, 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 no. no. But they gonna knock on them yeah. and see up in there. You, you <laughs> do. Okay, anybody been married longer than two weeks, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> See who up in there. Are I forgot to tell you, I get just a little excited. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Declares that all scripture is given by inspiration, yeah. amen, of God. Yeah, and it's yeah. profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, yeah. uh, that the man of God, yeah. and when I say man of God, yeah. I'm just not talking about somebody who's in fivefold ministry, no. but that all men of God yeah. may be perfect and thoroughly furnished, amen, unto all good works. Amen. Yeah. And so, in other words, if we're going to fix the problem, that some men are having today, amen, we're going to have to go, amen, to the word to do it. Y'all got it. We're going to go to the word to do it. Because I believe only the creator of a thing has a right to define its true purpose, amen, and to define its true nature. Amen. How many of y'all agree with that? Amen. Only the creator of a thing has a right to define its true purpose, amen, uh, and its true nature, amen. In Genesis 1 and 26, amen, through 27, you can write that down. In verse 26 it says, the father said, let us make man yeah. 
Amen. Let us make man in our likeness and in our, in our image. Amen. Now when he said let us make man, he was talking about the species of man as a whole. All right. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? All right. He's talking about the species of man as a whole. And a species is defined as something that is distinctly different, amen, from everything else. Amen. Right. And in verse 27, we found out that the species of man is composed of, of two genders, yeah. male and female. Amen. The species of man, amen. amen. And what we must understand and, and teach our young men is the fact that whatever your gender is physically, amen, that's what God intended for you to be. See that. In other words, God is not He's that. He's that. God. He's he that. did not make a mistake Move. with you when he made you a man. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. All right, okay, yeah. And I remember there was a point in time when we didn't necessarily have to harp on that kind of understanding, amen. Because if you understood what your gender was, you automatically knew you was a male, amen. And one day you was going to be a man. That's right. Are y'all right? But now little Johnny is going to school, amen. And people are telling Johnny, you may be a female trapped in a male's body. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. And maybe you need to experiment with this other side, this demonic entity that's Trying to influence your life, but the devil is alive. Are y'all all right? Amen. So whatever your gender is, Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what God ordained for you to be. In Jeremiah the first chapter, are y'all with me? Uh, Verses four through five, Amen. Verse five declares that God said, "Before I formed thee in the belly," Mm -hmm. talking about Jeremiah. I knew thee. Uh And before thou camest out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee to be a prophet, amen, unto the nations. Now listen, not only did God choose and ordain Jeremiah to be a prophet unto the nations, but he also chose him to be a man or male child in his generation. All right, all right, all all right, all right. He chose him to be a prophet and he chose him to be a male child. Mm. In other words, we are males by divine providence. All right. All right. All right. I said we are males, amen, by d- divine providence, specifically chosen by God, uh, and, and we have to become comfortable with our masculinity. Amen. In other words, God understood that in the year of 2014, he needed a certain number of men, of males, to be at the church of the harvest. Jesus. Oh, Come on. Uh, 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 on April the 30th, yes, 2014. Come on. In other words, in the city of Mobile, Alabama, amen, in the surrounding counties, God had already figured out in his divine providence how many men he needs. Come on, right. Come on. Come on. And if you come here as a male, mm. God did not make a mistake. Mm. You are vitally important to the plan of God. Yes, Amen. Amen. Being a male. Amen. Amen. Can y'all receive that? Yes, That's good. Am I going too fast? No, you haven't. I'm, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get through. <laughs> Amen. So, so, so we are, we are males by divine providence. Amen. And and, and you got to get used to your masculinity. Amen. And, 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 you know, I was watching television some years ago when they had the Media Man March, yeah. amen, on D.C. Amen, I'm not talking about what Farrakhan did. That's right. But I'm talking about the, the Media Man March where, where the men of God decided to march, uh-huh. amen, and to pray, amen, on Washington, D.C. Amen. Some folks get to pray for, some folks get to pray on. We all right, there, all you know right, right. all right. 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 The need to be prayed on. Amen, <laughs> amen. All right, all right. Are y'all all right? Are y'all all right? Hey. Amen. But but well, they had this this media man march. Amen. And and and, and while they was up there in, in the church, you know, part of town, there was a and, and forgive me, woman of God. Amen. There was there was a group of women there. Amen. The feminist movement. Amen. And, and the radical gay movement. Amen. They was trying to tempt these men right. by flashing them. Yeah. Mm. Are y'all all right? Mm. Amen. And, and they tried to prove that they really wasn't men of God. Come on. Yeah. You got it. And 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 I was watching uh, Kid of Cope. And, and his wife Gloria, amen, at that particular time. And, and, and Gloria said, said, Kenneth said, she looked over at him and said, You want me to tell you what's wrong with them, men, with them women? And uh, uh, she said, He said, Yeah, because you got to know when to be quiet. Mm. Amen. Yeah, all right. Amen. And she said, They have never uh, 
had a man who would keep his word. My Lord. What you say? What you say? My <laughs> Lord. Jesus. Uh, 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 are y'all right? And the reason I, I said that because a lot of times when we use this word masculinity, we tend to think of somebody, amen, who's just big and strong. My Lord. And a lot of times, brother, we'll go for the bronze, amen, at the expense of the brain. Yeah. And, and that's unfortunate. Are, are, y'all, are, are y'all all right? And then we have sisters who only look on their outward appearance, amen, mm-hmm. and, and that becomes very, amen, uh, unfortunate. Mm-hmm. But listen, this word masculinity, amen, in its purest form can be also described as someone who is courageous, Faithful, someone who walks in integrity, mm-hmm. and someone who's willing to sacrifice for the well-being of others. And when that woman said that they had never been exposed to a man that would keep his word, that would have integrity, uh, y'all alright, I got real quiet. Go ahead. Because when she said that, I looked over there at my wife, well, me and her both was laying in the bed. And I started thinking about all of the times I told her mm-hmm. I was going to do this. And I was gonna oh y'all do oh, yeah. y'all, yeah. y'all, uh, y'all uh, and I was gonna do that amen and I did not keep my, my word. word. Lord help me. Oh y'all all right. Yeah. And I recognize, amen, that my integrity yeah. with my wife, not the ministry. All right. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. Y'all, all right. I was lacking, amen, in my integrity with my wife because I was telling her stuff that I was going to do that I did not do. Y'all, it was no overt singing, but in essence, because I didn't fulfill my word, it was a lie. It was. Come on now. So I realized that I have to have a greater amount of integrity with my wife. When I tell her I'm going to do something, and I got to do it, I got to come back and tell her why it's not done. See, that's what you want from her. Amen. 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 When you give her some instructions, all right, you want it to be done when you say do it and how you say do it. That's right. Oh, it's getting tired. Amen. Right. Amen. And if it ain't done, somebody gonna have to tell you something. That's right. What is man? I see you. So I start thinking about all that stuff about it. I said I was gonna do. Mm-hmm. Y'all got and I didn't get it done. Amen. Are y'all right? And then when I came, are y'all all right? And try to be the I'm the head of this house. Uh oh. I run this up in here. Huh. <laughs> I'm a man, right? Y'all, y'all, some, of y'all, some of y'all scared to say that, but you think it. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm running this line up in here. Amen. You can't run nothing until you keep your word. Yeah, you keep your word. 